The Invincible. You guys might remember this. The music. The title card that made me go... <laughs> they just released a new demo. Another part of the game. So I'm just gonna say, strap in and join me as we're going back to this alien planet. My name is Fisk. Enjoy the video. Yasna has found information on the convoy sent from the field base of the Alliance, a hostile faction in a space race across the galaxy. Nevertheless, she desperately needs to find other people, even if they are political enemies. Yasna crosses excavation area and heads towards the ravine, following the convoy. She's getting closer. She needs to prepare for meeting the Alliance by conferring with her astrogator. He's the commander of their unit. He supported Yasna's actions from aboard the spaceship orbiting the planet where the entire story takes place. Regis 3. Here we are. Plan your route to the convoy. Dude, look at that. Look at me. Look at that. I'm inside a helmet. <laughs> we go so this is a completed dude look how pretty this is let's just take a moment here breathe take the atmosphere in the music the just the, how the fog or the mist i guess is moving about yeah this is super pretty so we are about to find a convoy and we need to plan accordingly. So we are on the path, it seems like. And we are just pretty much behind, aren't we? All right, let's, ch let's check this out. The road ahead leads straight to where the convoy was heading. Well then, what are you waiting for? Any doubts? No, no, I don't. I still think we have to go there. <gasps> but they're not on the base. They must be somewhere, damn it. So what's on your mind? I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. I was just focusing on that, like, what, what, wait, a car? A dune buggy? Not really. I don't know. That looks amazing. I love the retro style of this, dude. It's, like, futuristic, but also retro. That is so cool. I love it. Um, side path. I can just drive in there, straight to the convoy, or try and take a side path to remain unnoticed until the this very one? last moment. Bold assumption. Could be an unnecessary detour. I leave that to your judgment, though. It's your call, Yasna. Uh, take the path leading to convoy. A little, uh, let's do a little canter. All right. I'll try to get there via the side path. <laughs> the side path, yeah. <laughs> Unequipped. I started to get a little bit stressed out. Uh, side path, that's good. Whoop. And another hop. I was so excited to see you guys enjoy. Dude, look at this. Enjoying this as much as I did. I didn't know the video would actually do as good. So if you missed the first part, please go and check it out. It's such a cool little thing, this. And we even got a little car. Look at him. What should we call him? Let me know in the comments. So pretty. Look at him. The eyes. Got a little tiny little helmet on. I love it. All right. Let's get in here. Let's take the side path. Can we? Are we driving this? Yes. Oh, dude, this is so cool. Let's actually see if we can get up there. I never trusted myself in a vehicle. I don't know if you guys remember how I actually drive. And also, what's even more concerning, I actually have a truck license in real life. Uh, you know? Oh, look at that. Okay, I want to check something. Can I, get, can, I, can I get out? Yes. Yes. That's what I wanted to check. You can actually see the, the tire tracks. The details, dude. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Let's continue. <laughs> Jump in. Let's see where we get up. Should be around here, right? Here we go. Is that it? All right. Let's back this up a little bit. We should be able to get up there, hopefully. <laughs> you know what? I don't want to drive this anyway. I think it's way cooler to just walk. It's actually hurting me a little bit. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, we're supposed to climb. Okay, I understand. I was thinking maybe we could drive up, but apparently not. Not at this time, at least. Dude, I'm just loving the music. It really gives me, a, like, Firewatch, Long Dark vibes. Yeah, it's like Long Dark in space. No, but it's uh, telling a little bit of a story. 
in a unique environment, I guess. I'm really enjoying this. So it seems, yeah, we have a convoy with other people, right? That's a little bit interesting, isn't it? We just saw dead people last time. There you go. What? Dude. I don't know. It feels like we should have been able to take the car up. I, I, I don't know. Let's get up this way then. And also the fact that uh, you can move around in the helmet. Like the helmet, obviously the suit is more stiff than yourself. And you're moving around your he head inside the helmet. I like that little detail. I'm a big sucker for details. Even though I, I miss a lot. We're going to have to uh, squeeze through. That's also going to be so scary though, eh? Like when you have a visor. If the visor breaks, you're fucked. Pretty much. There you go. Wait. The radiation is uh, has increased. It's getting interesting. The radiation level is rising rapidly. Yasna, be careful. The radiation. Of other people. Just watch yourself. Dude. Alright. Radiation means there's no people. I want to find others. Let's see. Considering the radioactive environment... I assume the probability of finding people here is close to zero. It might well indicate something quite the opposite. Human technology equals radiation, after all. I'm a little bit worried about this. I kind of want to check this out. Obviously, we have the radiation, right? But this, I don't think this is human made. It looks like it's been here for a while. So I'm a little bit worried that this is actually some sort of hole. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Some side of a big sandworm, right? That's what I'm thinking. Like alien. Dude, look at the footprints. All right. A hole straight through. And it's ready. to the convoy. What might interest you, sir, is that it appears to be a mechanically drilled tunnel. Okay. Circular. Precise. I'm more curious about what's on the other end. Although curious might not be quite the right word. You know what? I stand corrected then. Interesting. Ooh. And you just sit on your ass? Alright. Oh, there you go. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. It's... You alright? Yes. I am. Oh, shit. There you go. They're close. I was a little bit At worried because but there's not a soul. I don't see anyone. I was a little bit worried. I thought that was a, some sort of bug, Starship Troopers, you know. But it's actually Mag 04. Is, it, is that what it says? Wait. Do you see that? That's got to be a laser of some sort, right? Melting the HUD. It was like the. Uh, the armor or whatever you would call it. Maybe it's actually this one. So that makes sense. If they are using lasers, maybe on this one, they might be using that to get through the the stone as well. Oh, yeah. Here you go. That looks like a big old laser, doesn't it? Oh, corpse. Found it. Ah. Oh, no. Astrogator. Hoffman. They're dead. So you found someone. I had a feeling this might end like this. After seeing their base, I had a feeling it might end like this. Still, I wonder, what were they looking for? Was it that they killed them? Just oh. what the hell? What would it be? Do you think the machines turned on them? I don't know. Let's see the journal here. Uh, we found Hoffman. So this is the... Oh, so we can find the vehicles. This is the robot. We found this one. And this one. And then vehicles. Well, we have one vehicle. I didn't check the name. And Hoffman. Obviously is dead. But the convoy. Have a bunch of people. I don't remember the name of the dead girl we found the last time. But yeah. Alright. Fair enough. Let's check this out. Antimat. Found the antimat. 
It looks damaged, but its log may still be intact. Copy that. Proceed. Kind of want to go back that way, but I think it's just going to lead back. Uh, another antimat over there. All right, let's get over to this one. I won't get anything out of the other antimat. It's completely busted, to put it mildly. They must have been turning on each other then, right? Recover. Okay, yeah, we, we're going to do that. Just make sure that is written in. Yeah, mag three and four. We got it. Let's recover this one. Okay, okay. I'm getting into the antimat's recorder. for departure hmm the convoy is heading somewhere those giant cranes pulling something out of a well giant hole interesting I don't something that place something that might have killed them they're getting close to where I am now Sending a probe. It's hard for them to reach the site. That's why they're trying to get there from above. Hmm. Oh, they're tunneling their way through. There you go. With a beam of antimatter. How subtle. Looks like they found whatever they were looking for in that ominous tunnel. Of course. Don't jump to conclusions, Doctor. Huh. Shame. The transport's leaving. Those containers ended up in one of the transporters. I wonder if it's still nearby. You think we can find it? Oh, wait. Something's going on. Wait, wait. Why are they taking off their helmets then? One man's trying to draw the attention of the others to. I have no idea what's beyond the frame. Photo is such poor quality. You can clearly see the fear on his face. One of them is staring with concern at an instrument, some sort of meter. I'm pretty sure they ran up on something alien. Measurements are also strange. The electromagnetic field is in the upper range. Uh, that's a recurring factor, which explains nothing. We're going in circles instead of getting you off this planet. Is there anything actually helpful? Don't you want an explanation? Don't you want to know what happened, sir? I do. If my crew was safe and sound, I gladly investigated myself. Explaining this mystery would not only expand our knowledge, but also bring us honor and glory. Not to mention the exposure of the Alliance's incompetence. At the moment, though, I have other priorities, Doctor. Hmm. Next slide. People rushing out of the tunnel. Yeah, it seems like they're running, running from, from something. Whatever's in there. But are we still considering whether you should go inside? I admit it's all very intriguing, but also too risky. What I'm trying to say is, I fear for your safety, Asa. I'm scared too. Rightly so. I'm actually getting a little bit scared. I'd be scared out of my mind if not for our link. You help me keep it together, sir. Very humble. What are the antimats has fired straight into the tunnel? And Why, though? What happened next? There's nothing else. Only darkness. Oh, that Can't gave me chills. That the machine's objective has changed. Is that enemy unknown? There's a bunch of unidentified targets. It has trouble recognizing any of the nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine objects. What? It's to reach its limit, I guess. Sounds like a major fault in the circuitry. Oh but no! Tremendous firepower, and it means big trouble. If this turned out to be a prequel to Starship Troopers, imagine. Panic! Everyone's trying to escape. Yeah, and also, if you if you noticed on the corpse we found back there, he had one arm ripped off. Astrocator. The Antimat's new objective is to eliminate. Instead of protecting. What happens next? 
There's also a second antimat. It's shooting into the air. Both were faulty. Oh shit. The yep. second antimat. Look at that. That's what destroyed it. People are frozen with fear. They don't know what to do. It's firing directly the arm. at the crew. We got our our explanation to that. Shooting them. Oof. One by one. It's horrifying what an antimatter beam does to the human body. I'm sorry you have to see this, Yasna. We just three doesn't spare you. This mission is getting better and better. Damn this mission. I curse whoever sent us here to play some half our spy game. Someone hid behind a rock. How do you know? This antimat has thermal imagery. Hmm, is that the one we're gonna be looking for then? No? Alright. <laughs> no one man has raised his hands in surrender. Dude, this is such a cool way to tell a story. I'm loving this. Can a machine understand such gestures? If only a machine could take pity on him. With a proper programming, it could recognize such gestures. I was about to say. It could never feel compassion. No. Yeah. Yeah. It killed him. Big time. The machine just killed him. Oh fuck. Yes, no. Oh, that's us. It's still a lot. It's just, it's online. The last photo is from a few moments ago. I'm on it. Bloody hell. So it's not dead after all. The machine that massacred the Alliance is still operational. And it could target you at any moment. Let's hope not. How would you stay so Perhaps cool? It's best to hope. While moving away. If that's all. What about that tunnel? Uh, right. I'll check it out. So? I'll go check it out. I know you will, yes. Proceed. But also, is this better than what's out here? I don't know. I can hear a rhythmic, metallic sound coming from beyond the tunnel. Oh, we're losing contact. I can't, I can't hear. I don't understand you, sir. The audio's breaking up. I'll get back to you once I reach the end. It's an Arctan. Coming at me. Oh, wait, what's going on? Carrying something. What is that? Are we getting poisoned by the radiation, you think? Yes, can you hear me? Over. Copy that. Ah! Uh, I don't feel too. My head feels like it's bursting from pressure. What is going on in here, dude? You need to rest. Look at that. He's just been walking in a circle. I'm better now. Yeah, we need to check that one out. He's just been going in a circle. Something is messing with the electronics here. There's nothing here I metal haven't seen Metal bushes. Before. Just a lot of metal bushes. What? Same as the ones near our camp. I take we've, we've seen these before then. Well, the lower parts of the bushes are, how to put it, fruitless. So the Alliance came to pick the fruits. Maybe. Maybe not. Just gonna check this out before we look at the Ributo back there. Man. Alright. Arctan, come here. We need to find more of them though. Seems like this robot started a task and then got stuck in a loop. Yep. What task? Carrying boxes. It took one but never left. Why do you think it's stuck? Well, it goes in circles, using the same path. Dude, I'm loving this design. Uh, let's uh, take notes. There you go. The box is filled with containers, which I'm pretty sure are filled with research material. Those fruits. Could you retrieve them somehow? It 
it won't be easy to snatch a crate from its steel grip. Hmm. We might actually have some more further in. Check these boxes. But also, I'm pretty worried. What is making the robots act like they do? They are losing their, well, mind. But yeah, you know what I mean. It doesn't... That scared me, Jesus. It doesn't look too good for us, does it? It's something screwing with us. Yeah, we have a body. What is that? That's some sort of ship, isn't it? Maybe not. I think their crew took some soil samples. There's this chip rock. Revealing what lies beneath the surface. Which is more metal? Yes, a metal interior. Oh, we had something more right there. Roots are exposed as well. They're not embedded in any rock, but in a tissue-like alloy. <sighs> yeah. That's one way of putting it. So, all the bushes in this area, and there are plenty of them, as I understand, appear to grow on the rock. But deep down, their roots are embedded in metal. Perhaps you should take a closer look at them, Doctor. Oh, the voice acting. So, it's something about the British accent that just makes, like, telling a story. Man? Yes! Do you have anything specific in mind? Doctor, it's all metal. Then I'll use the detector. Right. Yeah, let's check this one first. Who are you then? Who's that? Betsky. Is that what we'll call him? Yeah, look at that. Something is going on here something that's disrupting uh, and also i mean killing and i don't think we are in uh, the best uh, the best shape either Give me a sec. oh wow this is so cool dude everything matches there's metal all around and the bushes have a direct connection with the whole system <sighs> so the structures i saw following gorski Yes. Huh. Well, perhaps it's... It looks like two generations. Two generations, One, dude! Old, dead, a relic. Second, these bushes... ...grew in the remains of the former generation. Hang on. Are you saying that this new generation is alive? And the old it's possible. To be alive? We can't rule us out. Can't you say that as a biologist? I haven't heard you mention cells... Membranes, organs, or green bodies, which leads me to one conclusion. That thing is not alive, Doctor. Well, we're used to calling all life protonaceous, especially ourselves. But that's on us. The universe doesn't give a damn about our classifications. Yes, ma'am. You're abandoning your profession. What you have learned, discovered, researched so far? I'm just opening up to the unknown. What is... <gasps> Shit. going on here i can't handle it anymore all right let's try to get out oh come on man oh push through what's going on Robot disappeared. You must have broken its loop. I didn't. No, you must have done something. Never mind. <laughs> we'll try to locate it. But first of all, get out of there now. Huh, I found the robot. Oh, it's going further yeah, down? Far. Where are you leading me? And what's leading you? You think it's the plants? Oh, well, there's so many questions, dude. And I, I don't know if I'm understanding everything. I need to just sit down and collect myself a little bit. I don't know. If I'm understanding everything right here. Oh. Oh, dude. Oh, fuck. Fuck, it's getting up. What? Oh. The robot? No. No, the anti -mat. You need to act fast. Move, Yasna. Fuck. No. Yasna? Are you alive? Yes. 
<laughs> just the, <laughs> just the legs. How, dude? Take care of our people, Vic. Do you hear? Finding the best medics. Yes, ma'am. What do you? Tell Covel I, I, I tried. No, don't die on me now. Begging you, don't give up. You can't. Wait. Sorry. So fucking sorry. It's all my fault. You hear me? All mine. It was my decision. I decided to accept the mission. What? Come down, Novik. Yes, ma'am. Your life. Didn't kill me, though. You Why? Why didn't you? After a series of successful missions. Are you safe now? Safe enough. Please continue, sir. <clears throat> I'm all is. You will agree that we were doing very well. Outstanding results. That's how it ought to end. Well. Yes, I fully agree. But then it seemed this could have been the crowning achievement of the entire expedition. Just imagine. You could have at least asked us. I did wrong. I know that now. I will never forgive myself for it. Neither do I expect you to. Damn you, Novik! Ah, oh, forgive him. Oh, to hell with it. I can't really blame you. After all, you're the commander. It's your job to make decisions like that. <laughs> Look at his tiny little legs. Right. It means a lot to hear that from you, Yasna. Thank you. All right. Let's see if I can find those. Uh, so, what no? do we do now? Will you finally let me send Hopper for you? I. I can't just fly away. Now more than ever. I won't rest until I find out what happened to our people. And what we can do to aid them. For now, you can forget about the research material. The only thing left of the Arctan is its feet. Considering all the factors, I would assume everyone in the convoy is dead. If there's anything more to learn, it's from the recording devices. The first anti mm. told us a lot. The second one is destroyed. You spoke about the probe. Should be a valuable source of information. And the rovers. Are they on the convoy list? Let's see. We should have them, right? Just one. There you it's go. worth checking then. Listen to the radio recordings, dude. What is going on, man? This story got me very intrigued, let me tell you. And look at the designs of these things, man. This is so freaking cool. Is it just me? No, it can't be, right? I mean, if you don't l think this looks okay, at least. What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, there we go. We got the convoy. Let's get down there. <laughs> Thank you for opening up, dude. Ooh. That's one of those, uh, what do you call it? Not trailers, but... One of those trucks or whatever. A little bit bigger, and we have the rover. Let's check it out. Which one was this, then? SMU-88. Another one dead. What was the name of him? It's a colony. Look at that. Yep. Yeah, it's something with those plants, dude. It's taking over. And what is that? Oh, no. It got a force field around it. Dude, there's something about this. It's like alien life that just fucks with me, man. I don't know. Oh, there you go. Okay. Rover. Huh. That wasn't difficult. It's right there. See if we can get in. To base. Maybe. Why even bother with security measures when they just leave keys in locks anyway? So, let's hear it. At this point, I'm just Hello, pushing base. buttons. This is Antka. Oh. Hello, Antka. Tesla here. I can hear you. Reporting. 25th day of the mission, 7.15 a.m. We arrived. Huh. I saw it on the slides. We encountered a terrain obstacle, but it has been removed. You can skip ahead if you would. We've established permanent access to the extraction site, separated the material for research. Now we're securing the first transport. Dr. Boza and Osterhaus have already begun their preliminary research here on site. Gotcha. I'm passing it on. Let us know if there are any updates. Of course. Over and out. Huh, that 
There's more. Base, come in. Dr. Boza wants to talk with you. Tesla here. Over. We have... Hello, convoy. Anka, come in. Are you there? What did I do? Yes, yes, I'm here. We're finishing loading. Preparing to depart. Don't! Get tense. Leave the material behind and return to the base. <sighs> but why? What happened? Scouts came back from this whole city. Tesla? What's going on? Hello? Tesla, come in. Navigator speaking. Don't take anything. Just get out of there. Immediately. That's an order. Last saved recording. And we're going in there, Our dude. Robots grouping and flying together, similar to flies, capable of affecting other machines. Even to the That's point that what's happening. Become dangerous to humans. The microbots, they must be dangerous as well. I don't know how, but not all people were killed by larger robots. I think I figured it out, partially at least. The Alliance scientists were very clear that all of this had to do with an electromagnetic field. The field emitted by these flies. Right there. When people displayed disturbing symptoms, field measurements showed above average values. Now, at first, I thought it was a sensoric malfunction. A strong field damaged the brain. It turns out that field damaged them. So all the malfunctions occurred afterward. Why didn't I think of it sooner? Prolonged exposure to strong electromagnetic fields can be harmful to the human brain. Usually it concerns long-term effects, months and years of unfavorable conditions. Please elaborate, Doctor. What sort of effects? Various brain dysfunctions. It may even lead to the arrest of vital organs. So that's how... Merit. <sighs> Most probably. And that's Another also probably what's happening to us as well, right? The field is memory loss. The human organism continues to function normally. But the human being is such as helpless. Vulnerable. Like a baby, they don't understand the world around them. Can such a person learn the world anew? That's so scary. Maybe in theory, yes. Yes, I want to believe it's possible. It's unprecedented. All we can do now is believe that they will eventually snap out of it. And when they do, hope they won't be used as guinea pigs. We both know this is going to be difficult. Yes. And I don't even know if I'll survive this mission. Will I see them again? Will they develop properly? Even if it all works out, we will be strangers. They won't remember us. All that's left is hope. God damn it. Perhaps researching those flies will help us to better aid our people. We're theorizing for now. It'll be worth examining. Confirm at least. Got it, Astrogator. I'll search for those containers of flies. I mean, would this be a suicide motion? I don't know. Just want to flip some more stuff right here yes i love buttons dude <laughs> let's get out of here oh baby my mind is getting thrown between things that what it could be you know it's so weird you think this is the flight no that's just debris is it i've located one of the transporters sir please don't celebrate yet though something strange has happened to it get to the point please what's wrong with it the outer shell is damaged. There are holes everywhere. Like from bullets? No. It looks like it's been corroded by strong acid. Mmm. Right there. Yeah, it's like being taken over, dude. has already protrude from the holes. Huh. Oh. I don't get it. There's bushes again. And here I thought it was all coming together. We don't know I the whole picture, dude. we know the whole picture. Maybe if I look inside the transporter, I can find out more. Let's see if we can do that. I kind of want to go up there, but let's take one step at a time. We're going to check this person. And uh, that was also Dobrov and Ostras. I'm pretty sure I'm screwing some names up, dude. This is so freaking cool. I'm, I'm once again, as I said in the last video of this game, my, my, my joy is just falling down. So if I'm quiet, it's not because I'm bored. It's just because I'm just blown away pretty much. All right, let's get in. The small ticking noises from the helmet, even though if it's quiet, that you got these tiny like sounds or audio cues that just make it everything really interesting. Scary, actually. All right, let's uh, push this. Oh, we have the key. That's perfect. 
The door to the cargo bay has budged a little, but it won't open fully. Oh, oh, that scared me. It's too awkward to squeeze in. And the whole vehicle is just stuffed with bushes. Yeah. But can you see past them? Not quite yet. Dude, look at you, I can see it right there, dude. It ate a human. Now. Oh no, it's a robot. Okay, it's safe. Okay, cool. I can see broken containers. No sign of the flies. Just plenty of bushes. You have some theory, sir. Everything that comes to my mind seems absurd. Mmm, I love to hear it. You go ahead, sir. As I see it, no idea is too absurd right now. I haven't quite thought it through. Not yet. Maybe after I listen to your assessment. Well, look, I think it might work like this. The bushes and flies have a symbiotic relationship. Mm -hmm. I even consider that the flies are part of the bushes. Just like the fruits. If the flies can fly, they behave more like insects. And the bushes like plants. I see we're getting back to biological analogies. According to your profession, do I correctly conclude that you are confident that this can be a life form? I mean, more and more so. Given the age of the oldest forms and the evidence of continued activity, differentiation... Everything points towards it, right? A particular drive towards miniaturization, improvement, and lethal effectiveness. I dare say that we are dealing with an evolution here. Far longer than that of human. Also very oh. different. And dead. I mean, he's a dead though. Evolution. More to us, evolutionis. Yes. I still don't understand where this change is coming from. What if I said that the flies and bushes are the same thing, but in different forms? When they need to move, they develop moving parts, the flies. When they need to multiply, expand their volume, they settle on the metal substrate. Form bushes, absorb raw material, and they are again ready to transform and relocate. Thanks to, to the holes. And so on and so forth. And I can tell you it's the most sophisticated form of being I've ever heard of. With all the skepticism that comes with it. Yeah, well, something is going on, and I... I mean, I trust her. She's the smart one. I'm just a, I'm just a damn little Swedish boy, <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, dude, can we push through here? I mean, I've seen this field. I don't know if this is something we want to... Dude, look at that. Wait, wait, wait. Is that carved in? Look at that. Into the stone side? We got to see if we can get in, right? Maybe we can get around in that way? Let's see. In before hours, like half of our arm is taken off by this. There you go. Something big. There are powerful emitters in the center, similar to those on Energobots. Emitters only. Do they look like they're buried in the ground? Yeah. Then you are looking at the top of the Energobot. Well, look carefully. Energobots can bury themselves in such a way that only the emitters protrude from the surface. Mm hmm Yeah, that's uh, that's what we got right here, right? The force field melted adjacent rocks. They had to run the generator on full power. They were defending themselves after all. From the swarm of hmm. flies, I presume. We don't know how large it was. They didn't capitulate. That's a good sign. Well, I don't know that. So far, I can only confirm that the field has not dissipated. Yet. And how long would that field be able to stay up? Like, how far after are we? We don't know if this is recent, do we? I mean, the humans are still intact, not skeletons. The second transporter is under a force field. It's hovering above the ground. So it is operational. Probably also in better shape than the other one. True. It certainly looks better. The cargo may be intact then. Let's see if we can get around here. I know how to get inside. Yeah? Under this field. Will you dig a tunnel? 
I won't have to. There's already an entrance. I just need to get to it. I mean, if there is an entrance, I feel... Do you, don't you think if this is an ever... Like, the smart... I mean, we did, right now I'm just reaching here, but I don't know. If this is a smart kind of alien, can you call it that? I guess you can. It would know the surroundings and maybe be able to find that tunnel if we're able to find it. It feels like it, at least. I don't know. I can't wait for the full release of this. And obviously, if you guys want to, if you guys want me to follow this game, make sure to like the video so I know, and also comment, obviously, down below. Let's go. Let's let's just push through here. We want to find out what's going on. Oh, baby. Oh, don't fall down. It's too dark down there, dude. I don't like that. You don't really know what's hiding around these parts, right? Squeeze through once again. There you go. You're doing good. You're doing well. Whoop. Probe. Hey! Astrobate, the one they sent out? Looks like it hid from the flies. Or just ended up here by pure luck. Luck indeed. This registry could be valuable, especially if it managed to photograph everything from oh. a greater distance. It took a selfie of me. The P2. Proby. That's a perfect name. It flew away. Is it scared of you too? <sighs> I'd rather say that my lack of authorization is more of a problem than me being scary. I'm worried I about be able this. To bring the probe down unless I find a working controller. Yeah, uh, let's go in there, but I'm worried about this. The holes down into the underground. I don't like it. I don't know if that's a good sign. It's just give me the heba jabies. Oh, we found a dead one. Who are you then? Mirwa. Mirwa? Mirva, maybe? Oh, this should be leading in. I got inside the field. Do you copy, sir? Of course. The force field doesn't block radio waves. Hmm. I suggest the following. If this transporter is actually running, it doesn't make any sense to take out the containers and carry them with you. You're going to take the whole transport. You'll have the flies in large numbers. A powerful means of transport that can fly over terrain inaccessible to the rover. But before you leave, you need to take down the force field. So first, the Energo bot, turning off the force field. Please. Departure. All clear? Yes, all clear, but please. I'm working it out myself. It's a good plan. All good and clear as the sky is blue. Just waiting for things to go sideways. Something is happening. Dude, I don't trust this. But also, please let me drive that. Are you? Is he nagging me? Oh, the probe. Yep, it's here. Not the helmet, but no body. Think he would have been in here? Hunt key. All right, let's turn this off. Oh, there he is. Build is no longer a problem. Disabled. It doesn't have any boots on. Just as I thought. The equipment's still active, but everyone here is dead. It's in love. I know it's hard getting used to the sight of corpses. It's more than that. I'm starting to understand the suffering they felt in their final moments. They were left to fend for themselves. Yet, unable to do so. This one man, he even ate parts of his suit, trying to survive. Oh, he ate the boots and even the, the gloves. That is so horrible, dude. Imagine how desperate you need to be. Also, aren't you, I've, I've heard that before, that people ate their like leather shoes and stuff. Stuff like that. 
Well, what was that? Can we even get in on this one? It's floating. Oh, here we go. Climb. I'm climbing onto the hovering transporter. Before you leave, though, please check that the cargo is intact. Something is watching us. I feel it, dude. I feel it. Uh, close it. Perfect. Let's check the cargo. No, no, no. Don't do that. Don't start blinking on me. I need to get out of here. Uh, good. I hope. Will this really help our people, Astrogator? It will, I'm sure. So, what? Off we go? Maybe yeah. it'll leave a flies behind. About? Yes, off we go. Uh, yeah, sure. I got lost for a moment there because of the flies. You'll have a lot of time to think about it. Now the flies. Be able to leave you this of course, I'm on it. Although, first, I like to see them up close. Very well. Just hurry up. Is this going to be the flies? You don't want to break these. Then it's going to end up like the other one. Wait, it's just mush? Don't. Oh, there you go. Oh, the acting. Oh, okay. Symbiotic, right? Like one. Jasna, what have you done? I I'm watching them. Nothing more. Don't worry, sir. What? Some goddamn black hole has opened in the stratosphere. Can you say not to worry? Just look outside, Doctor. What did you do? Oh, they're probably feeling it. She woke them up, dude. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh shit, wait, where am I? How do I get out? The ramp? What did you do, Yasna? What did you do? If you were wondering, Sir, how large a group of these flies could be, I can tell you. Yes, yes, right now. I can see it from fucking orbit. <laughs> 